And I'm gonna give you what I can give you. I came up with something uh, recently. It's called Dedicated to the Middle Class. And uh, there's not too many people here that uh, may relate to this because this is really for the generation that came before us. You know, the generation that left us with the baggage that we have now. What Seattle's going through right now is what a lot of cities uh, have been going through for the past few years. You know, because you're experiencing just a little bit later what everybody else has been experiencing. So this is for the middle class. So many times I've heard that hustle's a bad word. The first few pictures that it brings to your mind a dudes pitching on the curb for their everyday grinds. Dude flipping birds on the interstate lines. Dudes flipping the birds to police as they pass. You act like hustles at the least of your trash. You act like all of us should be middle class. But sorry, that's not how America works. Just look at what happened to those who were here first. Just look at all the victims of the American dream. Check the back of your dollar, it's a pyramid scheme. And somebody's gotta play the bottom. These middle class fools just happy it's not them. In a world full of problems, everybody's got them. But the hopeless are so stressed, even hope smells rotten. We were told just believe and we could succeed. But they gave us no roadmap and no one to lead. No escape from our conditions, so liquor and weed quickly became our addictions. But all that you see is the surface of our struggle, materialism and greed, not knowing that without hustle we wouldn't be. We'd cease to exist. We fantasize about dying, only wishing that we could see if we'd be missed. We plan early funerals, bury me in my kiss, cause that's all that I have, cause you ain't give me shit. But a hustler survives and thrives, surrounded by broken lives and the broken promises of you guys, who promise to provide a better future, a better tomorrow, but yesterday's losers weren't brave enough to f fight for today's abuses. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'm, I would say that I'm about to cry right now, but I just don't really remember the next line. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it have been better if I'd have teared up a little bit? That would have been a lot more effective. Uh, yesterday's fights for today's abuses. Um, but you didn't think past your house notes and Lexuses and didn't leave us with anything but meaningless messages. But now you wanna tell us that hustle's a bad word. But your company's downsized and your job got outsourced. Your mortgage fell behind and your house got foreclosed. So now you're just trying to figure out how to make it now. But corporate America never trained you on how. You've only been a worker, pimped by your boss. And only a consumer worth what your possessions cost. Actually less since it all depreciated. Now you see our hustle and you appreciate it. But we needed you to take the hood and regenerate it. Instead, you stayed in your subdivisions and hated. That was still segregated, but you were delirious, believing one day you could hit the top of that pyramid. And now from experience, you've learned what we've always known, that we're all in a hustle that we can't win alone. I'm gonna give you the introduction to my book because it sounds a little bit like spoken word. Actually, I wrote a little bit like spoken word and then I'm gonna step off. This is from How to Hustle and Win a Survival Guide for the Ghetto. $14.95, $10 a day. It's called Winning the Game, this is the introduction. As the rapper Jim Jones has said, you respect my mind and respect my grind. He was on to something. In this game, you either think smarter or work harder if you plan to survive. Otherwise, you might as well kill yourself now. Because this is a dirty game and it's made to weigh you down until nothing's left. And if that isn't death, what's death? Now let's be clear, the word survive means getting out because staying trapped ain't survival in any sense of the word. When I say survival, I'm talking about success. After all, there's nothing less we deserve. There's no reason you should come up out of all that hell and not be strong as hell and smart as hell, at least enough to be successful as hell. But most of us don't stand a chance in hell to make it. That's why we live for the moment. Focus on the next time we'll ride high while still living down the lows from the last time things went wrong. While folks on the other side of the fence are eating the whole pie, it's like we're trapped in a hole hoping a few crumbs fall over to our side. And boy, do we fight hard for our side. After all, it's all we have. We have to go hard for anything we need in life. And the first thing any man needs is his dignity and self-respect. That's why we'll kill over pride, spill blood for our side, and be the first to ride or die. Somewhere in the process, we forgot that the first time someone told us ride or die was on a slave ship. 
And the first side was the west side of Africa before we were tricked into taking sides and taking rides back when taking a dive meant jumping overboard into a cold death before we let them trap us in slavery. Nowadays the traps are everywhere and some of us don't even feel trapped. Some of us even part of the trap itself, but I can't blame you. We watched the world abandon us, or so we thought, thinking that the only way to get right was to get it by any means. In the process, we forgot ourselves and each other. Little did we know that the world hadn't forgotten us at all. In fact, the poor people of the world, the black, brown, red, and yellow people of the world, they were waiting on us to rise up. They're still waiting on us to rise up. That's why the world follows every trend set by the black man. If the black man of America should ever rise up and demand change, the world will follow. But it would take a great man to take that first step because most people are followers. If you're up to it, get ready. It's gonna be a long journey. And that's the message I try to leave with young people. You know, change lays in your hands. You know, with, with adversity, it's like a bully, you know? Everybody has a setback, no matter what it is. Everybody's got a hurdle to overcome. You either let that beat you down, or you beat it. You know, either, you're either gonna play David and Goliath, or you're gonna play the kid that gets bullied every day, every day and never fights back. So, with life, Whatever your setback is, whatever your struggle is, almost everybody in this room has some set of disadvantages. This book speaks to surviving in the odds, against the odds of disadvantage. It gives you a formula for it. What most people don't get and have never gotten is the formula. You don't get practical guidelines, you get just believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams, follow your dreams, follow your passions. How do you do that? That's not practical. You can't tell a, a, a 14 year old kid whose mom is on crack, follow your dreams. Because as soon as you walk away, what does he do? He's got no roadmap. So the goal for those of us that care about young people and care about people that don't know what to do is to try to provide them with practical advice. You know, it's called dreaming backwards. Have them look at where they want to be and have them figure out how to get there. And if they can't figure it out, it's our job to give them practical advice on how to get there. Otherwise, we're going to do just what the generation of the 80s did to us. Because most of us had to fend for ourselves. Most of us had to figure out the world for ourselves. Most of our parents didn't tell us, now some of them did, but most of our parents didn't tell us, look, this world is a real cruel and wicked place. They told us that nothing was wrong with the world. So when we couldn't get right, we thought something was wrong with us. We don't need to let the next generation come up like that. Because Seattle started to see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Give it up for the brother again, supreme understanding, you know? Hustle and win, survival guide for the ghetto.